Hello, I'm calling from the trip. I'd like to confirm a quote. Get in the right around two hours. I'm coming up on deadline. How much money was involved? Was it over a thousand dollars? Was it over ten thousand sure I got the shot. Oh, sure you did. Not the way I wanted. Los Ojos is next. Come on, Anna. We've been shooting these guys all afternoon. I missed the shot of the handoff. It's another 15 miles to the next one. Yeah, that's all. Next time, bring a photographer, will you? to Los Ojos. You interested? Hi. Great. And we have this from a high-ranking source in the Treasury Department. From the Secretary of the Treasury, right? Right, but they don't want us to say that. Wait a second. Wait a second, this is too important a story not to be attributed. Where did our guy get it? He rode back from the airport with the Secretary of Treasury. How about uh, riding back in the Secretary of the Treasury's limousine, a high-ranking source said, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Pretty tricky. What's Mitchell have? Indian Marathon. What's that? It's kind of a protest. The Indians of South America are getting run off their land and even getting killed by people who want to develop the interior. Yeah, we did a story on that a while back. It's foreign this. No. Marathon's local. The Middle East peace talks affect the oil supplies in L.A. Does that mean you want to send a reporter to the OPEC conference? Well, as a matter of fact, no. The Marathon is part of a story I'd like to do on urban American Indians. Urban? Don't they mostly live on reservations? Maybe half live in the cities. There are 60,000 in Los Angeles. When are you going to have somebody to show me? I don't know yet. Let's see what Rossi and Billy bring in. Okay. End of the week. How'd you hit your leg? Hit you. Jumped off a truck. You come out here to watch the marathon? 
No. Where are you headed? Los Angeles. Where are you from? Arizona. You hitched all the way from Arizona? Not exactly. Let me see that. Last time I saw an ankle like that, it was broken in two places. It was mine. It's not broken. What are you doing? We passed the hospital back here. What about your picture? Go with what I got. Heck of a guy. So, you're an Indian, right? Papago. Papago. Aren't you a little young to be hitching? I get along. I guess Indians know how to take care of themselves on the road. Sure we do. You fall back on the old ways. Sure. Overnight, if you're up, it's good. <laughs> Is it unusual to see a case of tuberculosis these days? Well, in the general population, yes. Uh, with Indians, no. Do they have a lower tolerance? Yep, for being poor. See, TB, uh, asthma, malnutrition, alcoholism. That's what we see here, diseases of poverty. Doesn't the center offer free services? Right, uh, the bare minimum. Uh, how do Indians react to modern medicine? Do they still have their own practices? Look, let me... Can I give you some advice? This, uh, the story you're on. It's very complicated. Everyone you talk to is going to tell you something different. You shouldn't talk to me. You should go talk to the Indian people. Thanks. I intend to. Bye. Bye. Big joke. Well, you are so small and the car is so small that you give it such a great big kick. Are you sure uh, you know what to do with that? We midgets can change our own tiny tires. Thanks. Here, ma'am. Let me help. Really? I... Oh. I tell you this was a rush. That was three hours ago. I got two guys inside waiting to work on this frame. I'm paying them for doing nothing. Okay, Mr. Parkins, when I finish with this. He's just helping me out. It'll just be a minute. Look, lady, it's always something. You know, one minute he's here, the next minute he's gone. They come over from the center. We, we try to do something to help him out, but... How am I supposed to stay in business that way, huh? Look, I'm sorry, Howard, but that's it. Uh, pick up your check in an hour. Or, uh... Whenever you're finished. He was just helping me out. Please, I, I, I feel so badly. It's so unfair. Lady, it isn't fair to me either. Lou Grant will continue in a moment here on a and It's just what I always wanted. New Blistex lip... You sent me back. I run away again. That's no way to get an education. What do I need it for? My uncle never went to high school. He's doing great. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't get it. You grew up on a reservation in Arizona. 
Why'd your parents send you to an Indian boarding school in Northern California? Are you kidding? My mom didn't want it. She was real unhappy. But the Anglo school was too far away. The BIA told my mom I ought to go to a boarding school in California. Bureau of Indian Affairs? Yeah. So what's so bad about boarding school? I get lonely. I want to be home. Are they real strict? Nah, I guess not as bad as they used to be. My uncle told me when he went, the teacher stuck his head in the toilet for speaking the Papago language. Once in a while, my teacher would get real mad and say I better not go back to the blanket. Back to Indian ways. They don't like it. What are you supposed to do? Be like them. Does your uncle know you're coming? No. But he's my uncle. What's his address? Los Angeles. Can you be a little more specific? That's all I know. Don't worry. I'll find him. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be a problem. The marathon will take these runners down to San Diego, then they'll swing over to the Arizona border, cut back to L.A., and end up at this powwow in Orange County. Powwow? Oh, that's a really big deal. Indians of different tribes get together. It's a, it's a social and religious event. Now with the marathon, it's political. I'd want to cover that. That sounds all right. When is the powwow? Oh, not till the end of the week, so why don't we hold up the story till then? Who's your friend? Raymond White, Lou Brand. Hi. You know this guy, Art Donovan? Hi. Raymond's from Arizona. Whereabouts? The Papago Indian Reservation. What part of Arizona is that? It's near the Mexican border. I'm looking for a guy, and all I know is he lives in L.A. Does he have a phone? No. Does he own property? I don't know. I've got a friend at DMV. Does he own a car? I don't know. Has he ever been in prison? No. Too bad. Good luck, guys. Aren't you glad you asked? <laughs> Who are you looking for? My uncle. Howard Sweetwater. You don't know where he lives? No. Raymond. L.A. is a very big city. They got him in this boarding school for Indians up north. Raymond wants to live down here with his uncle. Have you tried the Bureau of Indian Affairs? Good idea. Here it is. Raymond, come here. So what do you think of the newspaper business? Is that all you guys do? Sit around, talk on the phone? Drink coffee and make up things to write? <laughs> we don't make it up. Oh, it's even easier. Sweetwater, that's right. In Pacoima. 3347. Carrington? Carrington Place. I got it. Okay, thank you. Raymond? Where'd he go? Anybody see him, that, that little boy? Lou, can you call the lobby? See him? Yeah. Lou Grant. There's a little kid on his way down there, about 12 years old. Try and stop him, will you? I shouldn't have mentioned the BIA out loud. I really scared him. Huh? Okay, Tim. Uh, uh, keep an eye out for him, will you? Thanks. That's very good. I guess she's shy. No, she's showing you a sign of respect. Indian kids learn from their elders it's not polite to stare. Anglo teachers don't always understand. Growing up, we've all heard it. You look at me when I'm talking to you. Well, the Indian kid's looking down out of respect for the teacher. And the teacher doesn't realize. Teresa, this has been a very enlightening morning. This is our senior art class. They're getting ready for the powwow next week. Most of them are here because they've had a tough time trying to make it in public schools. Not academically, but emotionally. Like Henry. 
He was attacked by five boys with scissors in the bathroom for wearing Indian jewelry and braids. Oh, how terrible. Before they came to the center, half of them didn't know they were Indian. They'd pass for Chicano just to be accepted. You ask what the Indian Center does, I'd say the most important thing is to tell our people it's okay to be Indian here. Is the center just for kids? Oh, no. We supply emergency housing, clothing, food, whatever Indian people need when they first arrive in Los Angeles. From the reservation? Well, I thought the BIA relocation program was supposed to do that. There's a story, Indians, are fond of telling that General Custer was once head of the BIA. He went off to the Little Bighorn and he told everyone at the Bureau, don't do anything till I get back. Take a seat, Howard. Rotten luck, huh? Well, what happened to that last job? Uh, we didn't understand each other. But what does that mean? A woman had a flat tire and I helped her out. The boss couldn't see the honor in that. Uh-huh. He wanted me to finish something instead. I see. What happened then? He fired me. What did you say? I didn't say anything. You see, that's a communications problem. When you don't say anything, they think that you're just being a smart guy, you understand? You understand. Why couldn't he? I know you guys. But he doesn't know, like I do, that to you, the honor in helping that person who you didn't even know was more important than keeping your job. That's his problem. That's your problem. He hired you to do a job, not to do favors for other people. Could you find me a job with someone a, a little more patient? Well, I'm trying, Howard, but you have to meet us halfway. And uh, I'd like to move. Why? Well, there are no Indian people where you put me in. I have to go all the way to Compton to see friends. Well, that's just as well, because you don't need a social life right now. You need a job. I'm giving you your check for the next two weeks anyway. Try to make it last this time, okay? Continue in a moment here on a and &E. Do you, Pillsbury Frosting, take this Jell-O brand pudding to make Pillsbury's... a and &E returns to Lou Brand. The NAM didn't like my piece on the marathon. NAM? Native American movement, the Indian activist group. It was kind of dry. They don't mean style, Lou. What didn't they like? The editing. What's wrong with the editing? They say the piece is too short. You sure this is them talking and not you? No, no, no. They want more space and they want to talk. So talk. They want to talk to you. Why me? Any luck? Oh, I went by the uncle's house. There's nobody there. I think I'll try again after work. Uh, look, Animo, I know you don't want to do this, but if you don't find yeah, Raymond... I know, I know. I'll call that boarding school. Good. So when can I tell these guys from the Indian movement you'll be free to talk to them? It's your story, Rossi. You're the chief. Don't call me that in front of them. Tomorrow at 11. Art, I hate to ask you this. Then don't. Uh, but my car is in the body shop. It won't be ready today, and I need to get dropped off someplace after work. I can't. I don't think my date would understand if I picked her up with you already in the car. I knew I'd hate asking you that. I'll do it. Oh. Where do you need to go? Inglewood. Oh, that's great. Why didn't you say Inglewood before I offered? I've been invited to dinner at Teresa Davis's. You know the woman I met at the Indian Center? Mm -hmm. I think it's part of the story. How are you going to get back from all the way out there? Don't worry about that. I'll find a way. Mm -hmm. Hi! Hi! Did you have trouble finding us? 
Oh, no, no, not at all. Lou here is very good at finding his way around. Yeah. I just pulled into the service station down the street and told the guy I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa Davis, Lou Grant, my city editor. Hello. It was nice of you to come. No, I'm just dropping Billy off. Dropping her off all the way out here? Come on in. There's plenty. No, no, I, I can't. I, I'm Besides, just, uh... how's Billy going to get home? I think she just found her way. So you're writing an article on Indians? No, I'm not. She is. Hmm. She's a writer? Gordon still thinks women should make the fire and carry the water. College graduate. Big ideas. Hmm? What did you get your degree in? Sociology? Art. I wasn't too well directed when I was in college, but a degree's a degree. I'm working towards my master's in sociology. Tell them about your thesis. I'm collecting data on Indian women making the transition from the reservation to the city. Pretty dry stuff, right? No, I think that's interesting. I never read anything about Indian women. Well, we're Navajo, and we've been a matriarchy for over 25,000 years. How many women have executive positions on your paper? Well, only one comes to mind, but she's a biggie. Women have always sat on our councils. They own all the property. You mean even before the divorce? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that a Navajo woman can divorce her husband simply by putting his clothes outside the Hogan? Uh, uh. If the Salvation Army doesn't collect him before he gets home. What about the home life? Is there more of a balance between the man and the woman there? We're working on that. I've got to go out. Gordon, we have company. Tuesday night. Well, can't you miss bowling this one week? No, I can't. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Sorry, but I gotta go. Hey, I know how it is. Can't let the team down. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. Thanks for embarrassing me. You don't want to get embarrassed and don't have people over when you know it's my bowling Well, I night. thought for once you might want to stay at home. We have this argument every week. Then what are we going to do about it? I work hard and I just want to relax. So get off my back. When are we going to talk about this? Not tonight, that's for sure. Now get in there with your friends. Not back from work, I guess. Yeah. You scared me, you know, just taking off from the paper like that. I didn't want to be a hassle. Hmm. It's more of a hassle trying to find you. Everyone runs away from boarding school. I did when I was Raymond's age. Have a seat. I, uh, I stayed about a month. And what they finally did was funny, now that I look back on it. At the time, it wasn't. The lead shoes. <laughs> That's right. They made a pair of boots that had uh, lead soles. And in the morning, they'd lock them on, so I couldn't run that fast or, or that far. What, what saved me was my parents moved to California. They let me go 
because my family was going. Just like me. So if you go to school here, you'll be cool. Well, we'll take care of it. Excuse me. I tried to get you today at the upholstery shop. It wasn't good there. You quit. There are other jobs. Now there's time to be with my nephew. Lou Grant will continue in a moment here on a and It was parents' night at karate class. Everyone wore the... Thank you. It was a lovely dinner. No, it wasn't. I'm sorry about what happened. It isn't. Everybody argues. It's healthy. Can I remind you of that the next time I disagree with your editing? <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I hate being around family arguments. They're embarrassing. Me too. It's been a long night, but at least we can go home now. Well, maybe not. What do you mean? You know what I would do right now if I were a guy? I would follow Gordon to that bowling alley and try to hear his side. Good idea. You'd probably get some interesting stuff. Of course, I'm not a guy. That's okay. I never held that against you. Oh, come on, Lou. I can't exactly go in there and crash that circle of men. I don't think I would be very welcome. Maybe you can catch him alone sometime. The thing is, now would be the perfect time to get Gordon to open up. We're really losing something by not following up. Are you telling me I should send a guy over there? You don't have to send someone. Huh? I'll wait in the coffee shop or the bowling alley. because your brother came to visit. Hey, well, Sunday's a Lakers. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do? You're going to the powwow. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Department, huh? You got a nice natural hook. Uh, hey, I'm sorry about what happened tonight. No, no, forget it. We had a small time. I didn't feel too good about walking out. It's an old Navajo custom. What is it? Oh, Tuesday night bowling. <laughs> hey, come on down, meet the guys. You bowler? I didn't bring the right shoe. Gordon's a good guy. Works on a construction crew. The, the feeling among his Indian pals on that bowling team is very warm, very close. It would be nice if he could be a little warmer and closer to Teresa. The problem with them is that Gordon's a kid from the reservation. He hasn't had a good education, and Teresa's going for her master's. What's wrong with him going out one night a week? It's every night. I don't think it's every night. Anyway, that's traditional, being with other men. When he bowls with the guys, he's a terrific bowler. I think he feels good. I don't mind that, but do you think it's easy to work at the center all day and to come home and raise a kid without the man being there? Well, what about Gordon breaking his back on a construction crew and not being treated too well because he's an Indian? He just wants to go out and have a couple of beers. Lou. Huh? 
Teresa says she wants a divorce. Hi, Raymond. Howard, hi. I got some information on registering Raymond for school. Uncle Howard's taking me fishing. Oh, terrific. You should probably register Raymond pretty soon. Yeah. Thank you very much. Probably should. And do it soon. Oh, not today. See? Clear skies. Signs say, not a good day to be in school. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I was asking around the trip. There might be a job for you on the loading dock. The pay ain't great, but... Would they hire a skin? An Indian? Sure they would. The appointments... Personnel, tomorrow, 10 a.m. That's the address. All right, thanks. Catch some big ones. Animal, come on with us. Uh, next time. What can we do for you? Indian Runners Stage Marathon. You make it sound like a track meet. We mentioned the purpose of the race. It says, on behalf of their brothers in South America. Do you realize that Indians down there are being slaughtered to make way for progress? We're running so people will know that. And your article talks about blisters on their feet. If you want us to talk about slaughter in South America, you're going to have to substantiate it. We can prove that. We can give you the facts. Fine. But we can't print it until you do. How much space is a Tribune given to Indians last year? We don't have those figures right now. Well, we do. You can bring your clippings. They won't cover my hand. It's a press blackout. So I got this guy a job, and he showed up late. You know, it happens quite a lot. There is such a thing as Indian time. Indian time? It sounds like a put-down. No, not at all. Some Indian languages don't have a past or a future tense. Their cultural concept of time is different from ours. That's why we have these communications problems. Look, maybe you can straighten me out on something. Uh... I was talking to a bunch of guys from the Native American movement, and they told me that all 389 treaties made between Indian nations and the U.S. government were broken by us. What was your answer to that? It's history. It's true. It's true. That the government's offering to buy back the land that it took from the Indians, but at what it was worth at the time, something like 50 cents an acre. Is that true, too? Now, wait a minute. That's not the Bureau. That's the Congress. Your elected officials. Isn't the BIA supposed to act on behalf of the Indians? We do. We fight like hell for the Indians. My job here is to help some poor family who just drove in from Flagstaff find a place to sleep. A doctor for their sick baby. Just help them get back on their feet. Is that going to solve the problem? If I can solve it for one family for one night, I'm happy. But it goes deeper. We believe that we were put here by our Creator to live in harmony with nature and to be caretakers of this continent. But we're not caretakers anymore. The BIA has guardianship of our lands and property. A hundred years ago, your horse soldiers gunned us down, herded us onto reservations. Now your way is more subtle. You're shooting us down in Congress. They have different values. 
Mostly they're cooperative, not competitive. They don't give a damn about material things. In fact, the one with the biggest honor is the one who has the most to give away. Not exactly how our system works, is it? So you have two very different cultures trying to exist on the same land. So what do you do? For one thing, we don't want the BIA negotiating our mineral rights. And they don't even do a very good job of it. We want to preserve our culture and our spiritual values. We are a nation within a nation, and we want sovereignty. Sounds awfully impractical. I mean, so divisive. You want us to give you the status of an independent nation? Each tribe is an independent nation. We always have been. That's why the government had to sign treaties with us. Now, we want control of our own lands and property. We want control of our lives. wish you had a phone. Did you forget you had an interview today with a trip? Well, I... I took Raymond to visit his cousins. Animal, hi. Want to throw? Not right now, Raymond. Come on in. We'll continue in a moment here on a and My son Shaq is a big guy, and when he... Felt like a real jerk charging over there like a white Avenger. I'm not trying to solve the Indian problem. I just want to help one kid. Yeah, unfortunately, the problem is bigger than one kid and needs big solutions. What else can you do, Ross? I can't see Raymond ever making it in public school. He's just going to keep running away. What about an Indian school? Didn't know they had any. Don't you ever read the trib? I did a piece on it, Animal. There's a school at the Indian Center. Talk to Teresa Davis. I mean, maybe they can help in the way we can't. Well, we sure never have done such a good job helping. We've had this attitude to know that they're children and we're the father. Who are we to tell a whole race of people how to live? Fossey, Adam's got some stuff on Indians who own businesses and hire their own people. Sounds like it might be a good follow-up. Check it out. Right. Some people go back to the reservation. I know I couldn't. But I try to do what I can to help. By hiring other Indians? When I can. Howard Sweetwater doesn't sound unusual. I really appreciate your agreeing to interview him. I... I'm sorry he's late. He's got to be here by now. The old tradition says the shortest unit of time is a day. So what's two hours? It's not even late. Ken Marks. Howard Sweetwater. What tribe were you? Papago, from Arizona. I'm Sue, South Dakota. Howard, what, what happened? You got lost? My truck didn't start. Well, why didn't you call while you were waiting? I wasn't waiting. I walked. From home? I understand. My secretary will help you with the forms. It's going to be nice having you with us, Howard. Thanks. Me too. Thought he'd be fired even before he was hired. Let me try to explain it, Joe. But the story which may not make much sense to you. There was a great Cheyenne chief named White Antelope who swore to keep peace with the whites. Of course, the whites broke their promise and staged a sneak attack on the Sand Creek settlement, Colorado, 1864. Well, White Antelope refused to fight because he'd given his word. So he was killed. But he kept his honor. There is also honor in Howard not asking for help.
what you want from the old ways, like your sacred custom of being out with your friends every night. So I figured the one way to get through to you was this. In other words, you want me to leave? No. The last thing I want is for you to leave. But I'm tired of trying to make a marriage by myself. And unless you're willing to talk this out, it's got to be this way. Well, that's fine with me. has the first week. Here you are. He's in here? Yeah, go on in. We should know about the powwow Sunday. I mean, what to wear or what to bring. Uh, it's not a religious event. It's more of a social gathering. The men get together around the drum and sing songs that have been passed on for centuries. Oh, is Gordon a part of that? Will I see him there? Ah, uh, I don't know if Gordon will be there. It was always hard for me to get him to come. What do you mean, what? Well, we're not together anymore. I would like to honor somebody. Animal, I take you for my brother. He has helped me and my family. And because of that, I would like to give away this medallion for him. James. What do I say? However you feel. Thank you, Raymond. Nice of you, Lou. You want to stay and see a little bit of this? Yeah, I might. But if Teresa invites me to dance, I'm sunk.
Hi, Gordon. How are you? Oh, hi, Lou. I didn't expect to see you here. I don't think anyone did. Tonight, see twice as much great entertainment on stage. First, see the story of a best-selling author on the trials of Dominic Dunn. Then catch all your favorite cartoons from Chuck Jones in Chuck em Up, the movie. Now, can a dishonest cop save himself from disgrace? He comes up with a dangerous plan on Police Story, next on a and &E.